Welcome to week one of Mom Habits course. Um, today we're going to be talking about what we'll cover in this coming week. All right. First we want to talk about habits. What's a habit? It's something that you do all the time. And habits can be good, or they can be bad, or they can be neutral. And often a habit is something that we do on autopilot without even thinking about it. So what's a habit that you do, Amory, um, every day? Every day, as soon as I wake up, um, well, after I nurse a baby, <laughs> as soon as I wake up, That's I go and I get a big glass of water because I just am usually um, thirsty, but I have always, I've done that, I think, since college. I don't know why. I just like having a big, giant glass of water in the morning. And so that's a, that's, that's a good habit. Yeah. We will classify that as a good habit. And one of the habits that I have on a daily basis, I do on autopilot now, that I didn't in the beginning, was I have hypothyroidism, so I have to take thyroid medication. And when I first started taking it way, way back in 2005, I had to think about it a lot. Like, yeah. did I take my medicine? I'm and really I would, bad about forming that. I would that count the, pe the pills. Like, how many pills do I have left? <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember. But And now the first thing I do is I get a glass of water right. and I take my thyroid medicine. And you don't have to count your pills anymore. No. <laughs> and I don't even think about it. I just know I just yeah. do it. So that's one of the habits that I have. And we also have some quirky habits, like one of... Amory's quirky habits. I always, whenever somebody comes over to my house, I always wipe the counters off in my kitchen and clean out my sink. <laughs> Which is funny Even because... Even while they're there, not before they come. Right, and that's <laughs> it was funny because we were talking about that, yeah. you know, me being Amory's mother, she must have picked up that habit from me yeah. because I do the same thing. In fact, I can remember when one of my friends used to come over and my son would say, how come every time that Tara comes over, you're wiping out the sink? I don't know. I just do. Mm -hmm. She'd come in the door, and I'd go over and wipe out yeah. the sink. So those are just some quirky habits that we have. And um, Amory's going to talk about the first habit for this week. Yeah. So we're going to try and form new habits as mom this, this week. And our new habit, our first new habit is going to be getting dressed daily. And... The benefits of this are like n are very numerous because if you put clothes on in the morning, then you are prepared for anything. Right. Like, you are prepared for the UPS man to come up to the door and have three packages that you actually have to sign for. Right. And you're right. I know. Last week I was I had a virus and and so I was not wearing real clothes as yes. much and so one day when I started feeling better and I did my hair and as soon as I finished doing my hair the UPS man came to the door and I was like yes I look like a human being somebody's today. gonna actually see me <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, so you can you can do you are ready to, for somebody to come to your house unexpectedly or for you have to right. run to the store or for anything you are ready and the hardest thing of um, about getting dressed, forming this new habit of getting dressed is that you have it in your mind, moms have it in yes. their minds, that it's going to be difficult, it's going to be hard, and it's going to take up a lot of extra time. But by, if you read the packets that Kathleen sent out, she mentioned some great things on how to overcome those and be prepared for being, have, putting clothes on every day. Right. And this morning, um, I already knew in my mind what I was going to wear, and I had to get up extra early this morning, and putting on this shirt and my jeans was just as easy as putting on right. pajama pants and a shirt. It was just... It, right, because sometimes we yeah. get into the habit of digging through the drawers either yeah. way, whether we're yeah. looking for the sweatpants or right. we're looking for a pair of jeans. But like she said, I mean, you right. know, check your emails, because I'm sending out emails with, with some ways that you can form this habit yeah so and if you um if you follow those ways then it's going to overcome that little brain block of i don't have anything to wear right. or um and another thing that i would tell you is another habit that females and not just moms they tend to get into is um like this is one of my favorite shirts but i always feel like i can't wear it more than once because then, like, maybe once every two weeks, because I'm like, then everybody's going to know that I'm yes. wearing this shirt all the time. It fits me. It looks cute on me. I like it. 
but I only put it on every once in a while. But that is something that you need to get over. Wear something that you feel comfortable in, that's flattering to you, and don't be afraid of how many times you wear. I mean, well, change it. Sometimes. Wash it once in a while. Wash it once in a while. <laughs> but if it's clean and you have two days to go out that week and it's your best shirt, then put it on. Yeah, that's right. Put it on. Yes. Um, so now, Mommy, you're going to talk to us about our next I'm gonna, habit. I'm going to talk to you about the habit of eating food. Yes. Now, in the notes that you receive in your email box, you are going to see that we do talk about meal planning. But what we really want to focus on this week is Mom's you need to eat real yes. food. And I've talked to so many moms who struggle with this. They get up in the morning and they make their coffee and they end up not eating anything yeah. until either late morning or early afternoon. And you're already feeling shaky from and your you're, coffee. Right, and you're feeling shaky and then you end up binge eating chicken nuggets and french fries it's because true. that's what the kids are eating. Yes. But oh, look, there's leftover Cheetos. Let's take those. Let's just eat those. I'm, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Yes. Or binge eating at night yes, because they haven't eaten all day. But unfortunately, what that does is it's not good for your health. It's also not good for your emotional attitude because when you're hungry mm -hmm. and shaky, then you're not going to feel kind and loving the towards your children. <laughs> right. You're not going to be the best yes. mother that you can be. So we're just going to challenge you to make a snack basket for mom. Now, I always made those for my kids, but I'm challenging you to make one for moms with some protein and with some good carbs in it and whatever kinds of healthy things that you like to eat. There are those little packs of hummus with pretzels. Yes. You can put that in there. You can put little trail mix. I found some really good yes. gluten-free trail mix. An apple, those little things that have come with nuts on one side and cheese and berries yes. on the other. Yeah, and, it, you know, you might be splurging a little bit on that, but you are you worth it because it. you need yes. to eat food. You need to work. You are and we working. always put ourselves last. And so yes. when you're dressed in real clothes you have energy. and you're eating food and you feel better about yourself yes. emotionally and you feel better physically, then you're going to be able to handle those difficult things that come your way, like the toddler having a fit yes. or, you know, that... In that interruption of someone showing up at your door, door saying, hey, I just came to hang out, you yes. know, there's kind of things. You're going to be able to be closer to the mom that you want to be. Yes. You're going to be closer, closer by taking these steps and forming these habits. You're becoming the mom that you dream of being. Right, because we all have this inner ideal yes. of this is what I want to be. Yes. This is what I want to behave like. And yes. we can get close to that inner ideal when we start forming these new habits. Yes. And it will take time and it will take practice. And you might backslide a little bit, but that's okay. You just keep going. You yes. just keep trying. And that's what it's about. Yes. So we will remind you to look out for the email from Kathleen as um, on the habits this week. And it yes. gives more great advice and more information on how to form these habits, and also um, subscribe to our Whole House page or like our Whole House page on yep. Facebook and subscribe to our podcast, um, The Whole House. We have about eight podcasts out right now, and multi lots of them are on being a mom, so those will be beneficial to you too. Thanks for joining us.